everyone, I'm Lim with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is the mystery monolith. So the question, and I received several questions, so I just pulled one, it says, hi Lim, I was wondering if you know what is going on with this monolith found in a remote part of Utah. Is it ET related? A mysterious monolith has been discovered in a remote part of the United States. The object, which is estimated to be around 10 to 12 feet tall and made of some type of metal was found planted in the ground, tucked in Red Rock Cove. And there's an article on my blog itself and also various pictures of this monolith that people are so curious about. So they wanted to know what is my take on this. And when I very first tuned in to this, I, I just heard this over abundance of laughter. And I get that this was some kind of prop that was left behind. I see it being used for some kind of an amateur video or a movie. And I get that someone has spotted this in a scene somewhere. There's someone out there that knows more about this. And I'm sure that the info will be to follow. I got that it was left behind because the directors didn't know if they were going to need to do more takes. And so it was just left there and never recovered when they were shooting whatever this thing was. I get that if you touched it or if you like knocked on it or banged on it, you'd realize it's hollow in the middle. And this monolith does have some weight to it, but it's not as heavy as what you think it would be. So moving it wouldn't pose to be too much of a challenge. I did hear that this monolith has since been removed and we all know that it's mysteriously not there now. The owners of it wanted it back and they didn't want it traced back to them as they didn't really have the proper permission or the permits to be filming where they were at. They never intended for this to be found, and I thought that, you know, this huge story that was put out there, it was just never in a million years thought to be discovered, found, or this big of a deal made of it. And that was really all I had for this reading. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments. Like, again, I'm sure there's a big buzz out there going on and different theories of, about it, so I'd be curious to hear your thoughts as well. So again, thank you for listening. I am Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thanks. Bye.